In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to get started using dynamic data inside Brizzy Cloud. We're going to use the post we just created as an example starting point. Let's go ahead and edit our post. And I've already gone ahead and added some basic content. We've got an image, some text, and so on. We also have a section at the top. We're going to use this area to include the title, an excerpt, and any other information we want to include. So what we're going to do is we're going to click to add a new element and you can see when we're inside here we have title is an option. We're going to drag and drop that into our header section. You can see that now pulls in the title of the particular post. We'll select this and we'll set some styling. Let's set this to be heading one. We'll change our color to be white. And we'll adjust our alignment to be centered. Now the benefit of this is that if we go ahead and change the actual post title, because this is dynamic data, that will be reflected inside here. Let me just give you an example. Let's update this page and let's go back to our CMS menu. We'll open up the post section and inside there we're now going to go and select our post. We'll select this and we'll just change the title. We'll just put space at the end. We'll update this and then we can go ahead and start editing it. Now, because we've used dynamic data, you can see our heading updates to show the new title. That's one of the benefits of using dynamic data, but there are more. Let's just quickly modify the typography to make sure that everything looks pretty cool. Okay, so there's our title all in place, and that's pretty cool, but we wanna add in some extra data. How about we take a look at adding the post excerpt? To do that, all we're going to do is come back over and choose our elements. We're going to grab a text element and put that underneath our title. Let's quickly format this. We'll set this to be white and we'll align it to the center. And all we're going to do is we're going to take out everything that's inside there and we're going to use the hash symbol. And once we do that, you can see we now get a list of dynamic fields that we can reference. Things like post title, excerpt and so on. Let's choose excerpt from the list. Let's go ahead and format this now to make sure it displays correctly. Now what you can see is that puts a placeholder in place. So now if we go ahead and we update this, once we preview this, we'll see the dynamic data replace this placeholder. And there you go. There's our placeholder text replaced with the actual live text from our post. Pretty cool. Before we move on and take a look at how we can use dynamic data in archives, let's take a look at one more example of how we can use dynamic data inside our designs. Let's say we take this entire background section at the top of our page and we insert the actual featured image into it. Let's go ahead and select this by choosing the option in the top right hand corner. We've got two sets we want of options we want to play with. We choose this first option to set the background and you can see we can upload an image as we'd normally expect but we've also got this database icon. Now anywhere we see that we can use that to access additional dynamic data. If we select that, you can see in this example, we can choose the featured image. We've got custom and we've got original. For this example, let's choose custom. We can now go ahead and do some other things. So let's set this to have a parallax effect as well. We'll set this to be animated and we've basically done the first part of it. Now at the moment, we can't see anything and we won't see anything inside the preview. We'll see this when we go to the actual site itself. So let's go ahead and set one more thing. Let's go to the background overlay and this time, let's just quickly adjust the transparency. So we're going to adjust the opacity on this and set it to about 50%. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and update our page. And we're going to preview this. And there we go. We've now created a custom header with a parallax effect using the featured image and dynamic data for the title and the excerpt. The benefit of this, if we change the title, the excerpt, or the, the featured image, all of these will be changed dynamically inside this post. So now we've seen how we can use dynamic data inside our posts. Let's take a look at how we can use that inside our categories. So I'm back into the CMS menu. Let's open up the post section again, but this time we're going to choose categories. From there, we're going to open up our business news category to edit. Now once we're inside here, we can go ahead and start to use the archive element. Let's add a new section. We'll create our own and we'll reposition this to where we want in between the header and the footer. Okay, cool. Let's open up the elements now, and you can see we've got the archive option. Let's go ahead and add this element to our page. And this will now show us all the posts in this particular category. We can start to design and edit the look and feel of this. So if we come over and select any of these entries, we can go ahead and customize things. You want to set background colors, filters, overlay effects, anything like that, you can do that directly inside you. Let's go ahead and just do something simple like add a border. Let's adjust the opacity. 
and the style. We'll also go ahead and adjust the size. We can now go ahead and adjust any of the spacing inside here. So let's open the more settings and let's apply a little bit of margin around all the sides. Let's just adjust this. And you can see as we make changes, all of the different entries are being updated in real time. So it's really easy to work with. Let's go ahead and update this. And we've now created a custom archive. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. Let's preview this. There's our custom archive page. And if we go ahead and open up the post we've created for the welcome to our office space, you can see there's our custom post with our dynamic data for the header, the background image, and also the excerpt. And that's the basics of getting started with dynamic data inside Brizzy Cloud.